Hello guys and uh, welcome to 3ds Max tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be focused uh, on V-Ray Studio Lighting. So let's start. Uh, before all, uh, let's go and uh, make sure you have set it your V-Ray for uh, Primary Engine for rendering. So in common scroll down in the sign renderer you will find production active shade and material editor so here in production choose v-ray advanced and active shade v-ray rt and that's it so here um, i'm using uh, 12 18 and 720 resolution for testing okay that's nothing don't worry about that so for testing I'm using this resolution for uh, final I'm using uh, 180p and yeah you can choose uh, have I mean every custom for you what do you need so and okay now in uh, V-Ray, uh, let's change this type from progressive to bucket, and this is fine. So scroll down and open the color mapping. So in color mapping, it's already set it to this rain hot, and let it still like this. Okay, everything is fine. Now here in GI primary engine, uh, let's set it to uh, irradiance map, and secondary will be a light catch. Uh, so uh, in irradiance map, it will uh, it will be all by default, and in light catch uh, will be change some parameters. So subdivision, uh, subdivs or subdivision uh, is by default 1K. I'm using 3K for me, so higher is better. Uh, and sample size change it to 0.02. Okay. Now here in settings uh, we can change. Uh, how to render so by system and by default uh, this render is going by triangle but uh, we can choose a spiral it's effective for studio rendering because uh, it's focusing direct to the object and it's going from middle to ends And render elements, uh, let's that left for end. This will be last. So, okay. Now we need to create some st uh, studio. For that, I will use plane and just drag it on top view. And let's it uh, leave four by four segments. Convert to editable poly, choose uh, edge and create some uh, wall, some curve here. Hold shift and drag. And what? Okay, let's add some smooth. So, turbo smooth. Two iterations. It's okay. 
Now uh, let's add some object here. So I will use this uh, teapot. Let's add some uh, smooth here also. Again, turbo smooth. Okay, nice. Make sure it's in the center. Okay, uh, let's add camera. So here and cameras and use this by standard target camera. Make sure it's focused to our object. Okay, now uh, press C or uh, you can go here in views and join, change it, uh, find cameras and select it. Now we need to change position of our camera, so I will just select camera and raise it up. We can go closer a little bit. Now select this focus point. And move it to find best uh, position. That's it. Select to center. So right click on X axis. Okay, so let's go again, perspective. Now let's create some lights. Okay, this will be a little bit uh, some adjustments will uh, need for this. So, uh, okay, in lights, change to V-Ray, uh, use this V-Ray light, and as you can see, it's by default in it's a type flame so and let's try create one for now and as you can see this is the uh, direction of light and let let it move to this left side but uh, the multiplier is too high so let's change it to five press C and let's just one quick test to see how it looks but before that uh, let's paint our uh, studio so here find V-Ray open V-Ray and find V-Ray material And let's add here. Okay, so it's default color. And here again, second one. And this will be on my object. So let's find some nice color. You can use or green. Okay, let, let's uh, use red. Add some reflections okay drag it here and let's uh, check uh, how it looks on the first look so
so okay uh, this uh, render is finished so as you can see already we have some nice picture here with only one light so that means this uh, multiplier of 5 will be enough for this studio so sometimes I just wanted to say maybe you will not have same uh, effect like uh, mine here because maybe your plane will be uh, bigger or something like that so you will need a little bit to play with the uh, multiplier of light so okay right click perspective and let's uh, hold shift left click drag here okay press this mirror and uh, as you can see already our direction is uh, flipped to this side so nice okay uh, let's create uh, one more shot so let's see what we have so i'm back uh, i just uh, skipped this part of uh, rendering to reduce time and I just want to say this is the final result of uh, this uh, second test and as you can see already I think this is uh, pretty nice uh, we can add more lights for example here on top and focusing it uh, up here but I think it's not necessary that you can try by yourself just uh, to experimenting in drawing and uh, I think uh, that's it but uh, before before and <laughs> before I finish this I just uh, wanted to uh, change uh, last, uh, la uh, one last settings uh, what I was promised to you open your render setup and go to uh, render elements and here uh, in this add button open it and find a V-Ray uh, denoiser add it click on it so make it sure it's blue and uh, move down and this preset is uh, set by default but uh, for rendering you have mold and strong so you can use default I'm using strong this is my final so I'm using strong for better result so that means uh, this element will clear uh, noise on picture at end it's really cool stuff and also a lot of uh, help helps so guys uh, that's it if I miss something uh, feel free to uh, comment so and yeah see you in my next tutorial